One of the advantages of using namespaces is to organize our code. If we have lots of classes, for example, we can structure our classes inside different namespaces so our project is easier to understand and use. Also, if we organize our files and folders to match the namespace structure, we can take advantage of being able to load any class automatically, without having to explicitly require it. First, let's have a look at how auto-loading works. Here we have a product class in a file called product.php. In order to use this class, first we need to require the file it's in, then we can create an object of this class, and just to check this is working, let's use vardump to print out the contents of this variable. When we run this, we get an object of the product class. If I remove the require line, where we load the product.php script, when we run the code again, we get a class not found error. If you're using lots of classes, you could end up with lots of require statements. The alternative is to load your classes automatically. We do this by using the SPL autoload register function to register an autoload function. This function is called whenever you try to use a class that hasn't been loaded yet, letting you load it before the class not found error occurs. So instead of an explicit require statement, let's register an autoload function. First, let's just print out the value of the argument to see how this works. When we run this, we still get the class not found error, but before that occurs, we get the string product. When we try to create an object of the product class, this hasn't been loaded yet, hence the error. But the autoload function was executed before this happened, with the name of the missing class passed in as an argument. So we can use this to load the file where the product class is defined. First, let's remove this vardump line and add a require statement appending the class variable with the .php file extension. When we run this code, this will require the product.php file. And when we do run it, this is indeed what happens, and the error has gone away. This is why it's important to name your class files with the same name as the class name itself, including matching the case with a leading capital letter. That way, you can replace all the require statements with a single autoloader, and it will load any class you want to automatically.